to Karen Shabray with After Buzz TV. We are at day two of the Raps Power Women Summit here in downtown LA. We have amazing men, amazing women, all here to take a stand for political, economical, and social equality for all sexes. Catch the interviews right after this. How do you feel being here and just like basking in the ambiance of this amazing event? It's nice to be surrounded by people who feel like they're like-minded and working towards the same things and who are sort of dominating in their fields. It's a very welcome injection of encouragement at this time. Yeah, I think uh, it's nice because we're all here to encourage other women and I think what's nice is to see how many women there are linking arms and some men which I think is also exciting. I mean we need them to make a difference as well so it's nice that we're all linking arms and stepping up. Speaking of, uh, what advice would you give to men who are trying to fight that fight of equality for women too? Because that can be a little difficult. Sometimes it takes a little self-reflection. What advice would you give them? I think uh, actually my husband inspired me initially to come out about my story and I think it, it was not an easy decision for either of us but he knew how important it was to me and I don't think that anyone's perfect but I think if you can encourage both men and women to step up to this and make a, a new reality that is the most important part because I do know many men who've been affected by this as well so that's what's important I think uh, if we can change it for them and for the women coming up if I mean think about my daughters if they never have to have a job being fearful how will that change the relationships of men and women moving forward I think it's going to be huge I always say that misogyny and patriarchy and rape culture hurt everybody not just women I think men are really harmed by it too either they're sort of inculcated with the mindset of being abusive towards women from a young age or they're told they can't share their emotions or whatever it is so you said self-reflection I think it's really important acknowledging the ways in which they may have gotten things wrong themselves and then listening you know listen to the women around you listen to the conversations that are being had about this and for male survivors I think it's really important that they are able to voice what happened to them as well and seek help and not feel that added shame of being a man who's been victimized.